moment where I wanted to quit music, I'd probably say yeah, three weeks. <laughs> but then, I, don't, I just don't be seeing myself doing anything else. You know what I'm saying? Music, my uh, music, my my let up. It's my therapy. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really see myself doing anything else. I make a new song and I feel way better about myself. You know what I'm saying? And plus, like when I get the good reactions from fans or like saying somebody's telling me to help them through something, like you know, they get, give me more energy, give me more inspiration to it. What I want somebody to know about my upbringing? Uh, it's a hard knock life. Uh, uh. <laughs> nah, I man, you be weak, you beat. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. You got to get a goal in your head, and you got to chase that goal no, no matter how long it take, if you really want it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always stay hungry. When I came home from jail, I had got like nine, ten uh, labor offers, but I wanted to uh, hold off on it. So I ain't, I ain't do a deal for like a year, a year and a half. I just wanted to work and see where it go. And then um, once we did, once I was ready to labor shop, I felt like... Uh, Def Jam was like a symbol of me. Still had something to prove, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to go somewhere where it was something that need to be proved at. Somebody who inspired me, inspired my hustle, somebody who inspired my hustle, I'd probably say my mother. I watched her uh, be a full-time teacher and work at a restaurant, waitress, being a waitress at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So that just always instilled in me there ain't never no excuses, you know what I'm saying? Advice for upcoming artists. Man, I really be telling them there really ain't no advice I could give because these days, if your life not entertaining or amusing people, they don't really care about your music. Like you got, It's like you got to die or go to jail for people to listen to you. So I don't advise you to do either one. You know what I'm saying? But what I can say is, like I say, never get content. You know what I'm saying? You. You ain't gonna get a lot of sleep, but don't get content. Don't don't never get settled and happy where you at in life, cause it's always far that you can go. And I feel like as long as you got room to grow, you can always keep going. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't be tripping like when my projects don't do a million sales in a week and stuff like I be I I be cool with it, cause I feel like man, so I still got room to prove. You know what I'm saying? It's, sometimes I feel like. When you go diamond, it's harder to come back after that. You know what I'm saying? So I got, I got longevity because I'm still building. So I'll be looking at it. How I felt about the Def Jam history of signing. Uh, no cool. I just felt like I, I can. It'd be nice to put my you know mark on side D great names and stuff like that. I ain't really had nobody from my family really care. <laughs>